this video lecture we will be solving this problem Russian doll envelopes which is a lead code hard problem in this problem we are given a 2d array of integers envelopes where each element in this array contains a pair representing the width and height of the envelope one envelope can fit into another envelope if and only if both both the width and height of one envelope are greater than the other envelopes width and height we have to return the maximum number of envelopes that we can russian doll or put one inside the other so russian doll is the process of putting one envelope into the other given that we cannot rotate an envelope fine so that's the problem in the input we will be given an array envelopes which is a array of integer pairs and in the output we have to return an integer that gives me the maximum number of envelopes envelopes that i can russian doll the length of the envelopes array goes up to 10 raised to the power of 5 and each element contains exactly two integers while the width and height of the envelope may also go up to 10 raised to the power of 5 let's better understand the problem statement using an example so here we have our envelopes so this is the envelopes array containing four envelopes and a typical envelope has a height represented by the first integer and it has a width represented by the second integer and this pair these pairs are present in this envelopes array so for this particular envelopes array we draw this corresponding image if we want to find the maximum number of envelopes that we can russian draw here you can see that this is the smallest envelope that we have so what i can do here so this is the smallest envelope that i have and this is the second smallest and this is the second smallest envelope that i have and hence and the dimensions of this envelope that is second smallest are greater than the dimensions of the smallest envelope so i can put the smallest envelope into this envelope so this one into this hence making one envelope russian dog then i see that this envelope which uh, which is the second smallest envelope which with dimensions 5 cross 4 i can put this envelope into the third envelope that is this one so i can put it into third envelope you can see that the width of this envelope is 5 and the width of this third envelope is 6 while the height of this envelope is 4 and the height of this third envelope is 7 so both these dimensions for third envelope are greater than the same dimensions for the smaller envelope so i can put the smaller envelope into this larger envelope hence giving me exactly two envelopes at the end so i have dealt with this envelope i have dealt with this envelope as well as and now i have these two envelopes and this one is smaller in height and i ask if i can put this envelope inside the larger envelope and the answer is no because the width of both of these envelopes is same that is same and hence that's the final configuration that i would have i would end up with exactly two envelopes fine so while this envelope holds the other two envelopes which we have pushed inside it then so how we can solve this problem let's see the intuition to solve this problem so here we have this envelopes array and these are the corresponding envelopes that we have so to solve this problem we know that so for any two envelopes i can push envelope x inside envelope y if the height and width for x envelope are strictly smaller than the height and width for the y envelope that is h must be smaller than h and this w must be smaller than this larger w so these are the conditions that must be met for pushing x inside y so what i can do here the strategy to solve this problem is simple i can sort this envelope array in the increasing order of height or width so i take one of these two variables so one of these pairs and i sort this array by one of this variable either by height or by width so i sort this by width that is the first integer in the array then after sorting the envelopes array by width 
I will have so this is my sorted envelopes array which is sorted according to the width so here I'm sure that this array is sorted by first integer or the width of these envelopes so the width width of the envelopes are in increasing order now I have to check for the second variables for that I will what I can do is I can declare another auxiliary array let's call it dp array and I start from the first element of this envelopes array sorted envelopes array and I pick the height of the first envelope and I check if and initially I push this height into our dp array so I have three inside the dp array then I move to the next envelope that is this one and I pick the height of this envelope and what I will do for this height I will check in this dp array what I will do, I will pick this element that is 4 and I will search for an element in this dp array which is not less than 4, which is not less than 4 and we do not find any such value. We have only value in this array which is strictly smaller than 4. So I push 4 into this dp array. Then I move to the third envelope which and I pick the height of this envelope and I do the same here that is I binary search over this dp array so as to check for the element which is at least 4 and I find that element at second position here so I replace this point this integer with the height that I am I have current I currently have that is 4 then I move to the final integer which is 7 and I binary search over this dp array so as to check for the integer which is not less than 7 and we do not find any such integer so i push this 7 inside our dp array and finally i exhaust my envelopes array and the size of this dp array is 3 it simply says that we can russian doll th 3 envelopes how did we know that how did we conclude this it's simple the envelopes array here was already sorted by the first integer all we had to do is pick the envelopes one by one and try to check if the envelopes that we already have can be pushed inside it or not so initially i picked three and i got to know that three and dp was empty and three cannot could not be pushed inside any envelope so i put it in the dp array then i picked four and i got to know that the envelopes till three can be pushed inside this envelope inside this current envelope that is 5 4 so initially i pushed envelope number one which had a height of three and i can push this envelope that is two and three for which i have my height stored in the dp array i can push this inside the second envelope of dimensions 5 plus 4 and that's why i'm pushing 4 here then i moved to the third element and i checked whether the envelopes that are already there in the dp array can be pushed inside it or not and i found that they cannot be pushed because the last envelope that we had has has dimensions 5 cross 4 and the current envelope that we have has dimensions 6 cross 4 and this envelope cannot cannot be pushed inside our current envelope so the only way is to replace this envelope that is here with this envelope which we currently holds why because the envelope that we currently holds has dimensions greater than the dimensions of already stacked envelope because the width is greater so i replace it with this hence giving me three four again then i move to the last envelope which has a height of seven and I try to check if I can push the uh, push the already existing envelopes inside this and the answer is yes I binary searched for the integer which is not less than 7 and hence I push 7 at the end so this is the strategy to solve this problem fine and finally the dp array the size of the dp array would give me the maximum number of envelopes that I can rush in dot or I can push one inside the other. This problem is very similar to LIS problem that is longest increasing subsequence. The optimal, the optimal solution for LIS 
resembles this solution fine so let's implement the strategy that we discussed here so this is the implementation this is the comparator which we use to sort the given array of pairs by the first element so if the first elements of two pairs are equal then we sort them by increasing order by the second element otherwise we sort them in increasing order, order by the first element so this is the max envelope function which takes in the envelopes array finds the size of the envelopes sorts them by the first element then we declare a dp array to store the height then we iterate over the envelopes and for each envelope we binary search for the height of this particular envelope in the dp array so as to find the maximum number of envelopes which we can push inside the current envelope and i will find the index for that particular in for that particular element in this dp array and if this index is simply equal to the size of the dp array that means i can push all of the envelopes which are which dp array currently holds into the current envelope and hence we push this envelope at the end otherwise we replace some element in the dp array with this current element and finally I will return the length of the DP array right from here. Let's discuss the time and space complexity for this solution. The time complexity for the given problem is n log n because I am iterating over the envelopes array here and then for each element in this envelopes array, I am binary searching over this DP array which may have the length up to n in the worst case and that's why the time complexity is n log n while the space complexity is linear that is we go of n because i'm using an auxiliary space used by this dp array fine so this is the time and space complexity let's see the implementation for this so this is my max envelope envelope function and this is the comparator which i use to sort the given envelopes by the first element so first i calculate the size of the envelopes then i sort my envelopes array then i declare my dp array then I iterate over my envelopes and I simply binary search for the current envelope in my dp array. If I can push all the currently holding envelopes into our current envelope, then I will push this element into the dp array and I will continue right from here. Otherwise, I will replace the particular element at the index which I found here by the current height that is it. Finally, I'm returning the size of this dp array which is our final answer. So this is the implementation in C++. Let's see the implementation in other languages. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.